Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex. This is the infotainment guide for the 2021 to 2024 Nissan Qashqai, the third generation pre-facelift. So in the car, we've got a 12.3 infotainment screen just here. We've also got a 12.3 inch driver's display as well. So in this video, we're gonna go over both of those uh, quite detailed. So first thing, we've got quite a wide screen here. So we have got the clock on the left-hand side. We have also got the Alexa button here. We've got the source, we've got the plus icon, but I think you can add widgets. Yep, you can. Uh, if we scroll across the left-hand side, we've got the user, so that's guest. We've got the location, that should be the weather. We've got Nissan Connect Services subscription is required for that feature. And we've got all apps, connections, Nissan Connect Services. We've also got Alexa again. Uh, then we've got uh, a map, and we've got the devices section, basically. If we scroll across to this section here, we've got a blank space. Uh, it will just knock you back to the, the first page, basically. So we've got some buttons here. We have got notifications. We've got the home button here. Got map view. So that'll take us to the built-in TomTom sat-nav. Got music or radio. Turn that down. Got the phone icon. So there's no phone connected, showing connections menu instead. And we've got a box icon, which will lead you to all the apps on the vehicle. A few items in there, which we'll go through in a bit. Uh, in the left-hand section, there is a clock in the top left bit there. Uh, traffic announcements is turned on. There's an icon with a car. I'd imagine that's Nissan Connect services. Then we have got settings as well. Devices, let's look at the connections currently on here. I've uh, got my phone connected there. We've got Apple CarPlay. Uh, it tells you all the phones that people have had uh, connected to Car Apple, Car Apple CarPlay. And we've got Android Auto. And you've got Wi-Fi as well. And vehicle hotspot. Uh, you can share the vehicle's internet connection with other devices. They've got the vehicle hotspot there. And we've also got USB. Guest, we can change the user. Uh, so if you add a new user, it will probably be an intelligent key. I'm going to say it's probably probably linked up to the app somehow, uh, I'd imagine. Now if we go back here, we've got a Nissan Connect Services subscription is required for weather. Uh, it says this feature requires a subscription. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the all apps here. So we've got system information. Ah, it's basically taking you back to where you were. So notifications, uh, no notifications on there. Got Nissan Connect services. Uh, call Nissan assistance. There is also an SOS button in the roof there. Got favorite channels, information channels and history. Uh, got services connect app as well. So you can scan that QR code, download the Nissan Connect services app, and then you can do various things uh, remotely for the vehicle. Got downloaded apps as well. So Alexa's on here. You also got app settings, information. Let's go back. Uh, got traffic information, not available. Weather, where am I? GPS position uh, and system information as well. I probably imagine this is running Android. Most of these cars are now. Uh, software version 283 map version, uh, license information, uh, various things in there. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all the apps essentially now. I've uh, got connections that'll probably be the phone connections. Yep. And then we have got Alexa, Nissan Connect services, and the clock, DAB radio. Um, so let's look at the radio a second. All right, the car's turned itself off. Okay. Uh, we'll carry on. We've got the DAB radio, it tells you what's playing currently. Currently, got the presets down here. And you've got Bluetooth, so you can connect a phone to if you want to. And you have also got the FM and then the AM as well. And you've got USB as a source. There are some USB sockets in the central armrest there. You can connect to the phone via USB-C or USB-A and play music or podcasts or whatever you want from your phone. Okay, look, uh, we've got Alexa. Let's see what this does. Let's just have a quick look what it does. Let's get started. I imagine it requires the internet. I don't think this car has a SIM card in it. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Cool. <laughs> um, Got the clock here, that's not an app. I think you can, oh it is, okay, that's the settings for the clock. So you can say on-screen clock, on or off. Okay, uh, clock mode auto, time zone or manual, got auto. Offset it by an hour if you want to. Never understand why people do that. Uh, clocks uh, format, date formats, and then that's all the bits in there basically. The last thing we're gonna go over is the settings app on the car. So you access it from up here. Uh, and we've got connections, we've already looked at this app basically. Um, got navigation, that's going to be settings for the map. So map settings, let's have a look in here. We've got map orientation, heading up or north up or 3D map. So you can choose how you want the map to be viewed. Center vehicle on map, on or off, 
point of interest icons. So you can choose to have certain things turned on, lots of random stuff in here. Uh, traffic information settings, split screen. Uh, let's have a look in here. You've got use premium traffic on or off. That's currently not available. Filter traffic icons as well. Traffic info settings. I've just looked at that one. Uh, split screen, that's currently not available. Oh, it's on or off. Okay. Right side split map options. Uh, map orientation heading up, center vehicle on map. And then we've also got uh, split screen during a route. So full map, turn list or intersection. And then, and then we have also got right side split map options. Uh, just looked at that one actually. Uh, split screen doing a route, displayed route guidance options. So you've got always turn, always show turn list on freeways, show all motorway exits on route, show estimated time of arrival, estimate time for a waypoint and predictable destination information. Okay. Show audio info, show current street, customized lower bar menu. So you've got, while you've got the map open, you can choose to have certain things in there. So looks like you, can, you can choose uh, connect to operator if you want to on that. We have also got uh, daytime map color, white or black, uh, show place names, show facility names, show road names, map text size medium or probably small or large. And then I can just sort of preview on the left hand side there actually. Uh, record and show tracking dots on or off, tracking dot distance, Z north up if zoomed out, map score information, let's have a look in here. So you've got address book icons, traffic pop-ups, various sort of things in there. And then adjust current location as well. So you can choose where you want the car to think you are. Um, I'd imagine for finding different points of interest and different things. Uh, we've got navigation, we can look at map, it's literally just the map settings icon or sec section. Uh, routing preferences, we've got fastest route, uh, energy savings, shortest distance, customize more routes, three types. Um, minimize, let's have a quick look in here, one type, three types. Okay. Uh, minimize toll roads on or off, minimize motorways used, unpaved roads, use ferries, use car carrying trains like the Eurostar or the Le Shuttle, uh, use learn routes, use time restricted roads, seasonal restricted roads, use traffic information and use avoid area settings. Uh, we also got uh, voice guidance, we got on or off the volume of that voice guidance, traffic announcements, toll booth guidance as well, and then uh, edit user information, sync with door to door navi, uh, add home location, add all the bits and pieces in there, and then safety guide settings, safety camera icon map, safety camera warning as well, uh, reset all navigation settings to default, we can do that if we want to. Sound and tone, sound, uh, you've got to turn the bass up, speed sensitive volume, treble, and uh, you can reset where the sort of center stages as well. Uh, system voice, you've got initial voice prompt on or off, uh, voice preference female or male, speech rate, uh, voice prompt uh, volume, speak over prompts, cloud voice recognition, allow hello Nissan, nothing. Say a command. There we go. Canceling voice recognition. I uh, got short press of talk starts Nissan or Alexa. Let's go back a page. Got system update. This car does have uh, over the air update support, so we have got the support for that, which is quite good. I uh, got software update. Uh, start software update. Check for an update. Last checked, nineteenth of June. I'd imagine that there probably isn't one for the car currently. I don't think the car actually has internet connectivity, so this might not work. Oh, this software is the latest version, so that's fine. Uh, update method, auto or manual. Software update history, you can see when updates were done. 23rd of March, 2024, last update was done. Uh, clock as well, so we looked at that settings in there. Customize menus, uh, customize home menu, customize audio sources. And we've got system settings as well. It's got display. So display on, you can choose the brightness level. So you can make it brighter if you want to. Contrast, you can have a faff around with that and then black level as well. You can turn the display off. You can push this button here to turn it back on again. And then got the language, various ones in there. Uh, units, distance miles, Celsius, Fahrenheit, miles, kilometers. And then we have got QWERTY keyboard or ABC or return all settings to default. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, there are some physical buttons on the bottom here. So we've got a camera button here. You can choose what you can see what the camera's doing. Got forward, back, and skip tracks basically, or or seek for the radio. And then you can turn the screen on or off with that button there. And then we have got the brightness for the screen as well. Let's have a quick look at the driver's display and see what is on there. So for the driver's display, we have got a large 12.3 inch unit here. Uh, we have got some dials on the left and right hand side. Uh, we've also got a low fuel warning, which is quite nice. Uh, we have also got a central bank of settings essentially. So there's some buttons on the steering wheel. We can adjust the uh, buttons and go through all the menus here. So we have got uh, home homepage basically, so tell you what radio station you're on. There's some icons at the bottom there, tell you the heading as well. So there's an arrow button here you can click on. Uh, it tells you the average fuel economy. So I've done nearly 500 miles, 52.5 uh, mpg. That's just over 13 hours of driving. Uh, we go across to this side, energy flow. So while you're driving, it'll tell you where the energy is coming from and going to basically. So engine to battery to wheel. Um, most of the time, well, all the time, the batteries and the electric motors will drive the wheels um, but the engine will basically act as a generator for the vehicle so the electric motor is always driving the wheels there's a little wheel so we can go up and down so we've got tire pressure tire pressure is appear while driving so that's fine um, got music so we've got am fm we can choose what's playing essentially we've got uh, the settings for the driver's assistance features so you click on ok you've got lane blind spot we can turn all we can uh, sorry we can uh, enable or deactivate those certain features uh, emergency braking as well and we've got lane uh, warning intervention emergency lane lane sensitivity vibration level and various other settings in there uh, if we go across another page we have got settings so you've got esp settings so you've got you can turn the traction control on or off if you want to uh, driver assistance got steering assist on or off there's also a button down here to do that as well uh, you've got lane so you can same feature back there basically uh, traffic sign on or off cruise navi link uh, speed limit link auto speed limit offset parking aids so you can moving objects display front distance volume various things in there rear cross traffic alert on or off driver attention alert on or off timer alert minimum low temp alert on steering effort drive mode standard or sport or chassis control as well so that says trace control not entirely sure what that is Personal display, so you've got gear position, average speed, uh, trip, so let's do, oh, I see. So the personal displays are on the left, you can choose what is set on there, basically. So you've got navigation, time to destination, the current trip, uh, gear position, uh, average speed, uh, brake lamps as well. So that's quite useful. Let's go back a page. Heads up display, we've got that turned off currently. Eco settings, eco drive mode. Uh, eco cruise control, eco climate control on or off, eco info settings, eco indicator, eco drive report as well. We've got view history, so you can see uh, previous 38.1 mpg, the best has been 55.3 mpg so far. Tire eco advice on or off, and we have got tire pressures. So you've got target front, target rear, tire pressure unit, bar calibrate as well. Um, got clock settings here, got display, clock mode, auto, clock format, 12 hours, summertime and what time zone you're currently in. You've got vehicle settings, power back door on or off, lighting, welcome light, and then we've got, we've got mood lighting, so you can adjust the brightness of the mood lighting in the cabin. And you've also got locking, eye key door lock, sensitive unlock as well. And you've also got wipers, it's got speed dependent, auto wipe, reverse link, and drip wipe. Alarm system always on, mirror fold, at unlock. And we have got maintenance, got service, when the service is next due. Uh, air filter when that's next due, got tyres when they're next due, <laughs> other when that's next due. Uh, display settings here, got content selection, got uh, basically what you want to appear on the screen and what you don't want to choose. I've uh, got route guidance, so you've got alerts on there. Uh, I've got auto cruise display on or off, welcome effort, animation and sound and operation guidance as well. We've got lights, wipers, adaptive headlights as well. Uh, you've got unit and languages, distance, fuel, tire pressures, bar, temperature, Celsius, languages in English, and they've got factory set the entire car as well if you want to. I'm not gonna do that just now. So that's been a look at the infotainment system and the driver's display on the Nissan Qashqai. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. My name's Alex and I'll see you again in the next one.